Okay, so, hi YouTube. This is a video that I've been wanting to make since last night, pretty much, when I heard the news. But, um, I'm just making a two-part video about the guilty verdict that was announced yesterday regarding Bill Cosby. Um, so, he was found guilty of three charges of, um, I've written down here, three charges of... Aggravated and decent assault, to be specific, which includes one accusation of assault while the victim was unconscious and one where he drugged, used alcohol or any other means for the sole purpose of preventing resistance. And when this guilty verdict was announced in court, Cosby jumped up and went berserk, he stood up out of this, the, the jury or the courtroom and... Uh, prosecutors from the court they were arguing that he was a flight risk and he was also someone with limited wealth and his district attorney Kevin Steele said to the judge he has a plane and as soon as Cosby heard that Cosby got up frantically and shouted at Kevin Steele and he said he doesn't have a plane you asshole that shows how much you know about me so from what we were seeing at the second uh, and perhaps, or more probably, final court date for Bill Cosby, the disgraced comedian and uh, family man from, um, you know, that sitcom that he was in years ago, back in the 80s. And in a press conference uh, shortly after the verdict was announced, um, his district attorney, Kevin Steele, said in a press interview that Cosby finally showed his true colours in the courtroom and he the abuse actually the case happened in 2004 but it's only came to justice now uh, it happened in pennsylvania the victim was called andrea constand she, uh, a basketball player who was 30 years old at the time cosby stated that they had a consensual relationship well read between the lines look what happened <laughs> and not only uh these women that he's been charged um, with sexual assault of three women an additional five other women uh, pled oath and they testified for his prosecution uh, at the trial uh, that was on yesterday and um, they said that Cosby did assault them and uh, however Cosby didn't he didn't testify himself um, and actually, you can probably see this online, I think that it was put up online, but uh, after the press um, held a conference following the, the court, uh, lawyer Glory Alred said, We are so happy that finally w that we can say women are believed, and not only from hashtag Me Too movement, but also in a court of law. After all is said and done, women were finally believed, and we thank the jury for that. Um, now, I mean, I'm not the biggest Cosby fan. Uh, I've never really seen his comedy. Uh, I haven't seen that uh, sitcom that he was in back in the 80s. However, I did like that animation that he did, um, kind of like loosely based on his life story called Little Bill. I think it was like Nick Nickelodeon or Nicktoons or something. I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm getting it a bit wrong. Um, it's been a few years since I've watched that show. but um, And during the court proceedings yesterday there was a lot of like bravado macho sleazy seedy snide cruel callous inconsiderate just nasty comments like all of Cosby's defense team questioned the motives and the characters of Cosby's victims and accusers and they called his uh, accused well, his accused uh, victim, um, or should I say, the victim that he's been accused of assaulting, Constant, Andrea Constant, a pathological liar. And he talked about another witness saying, it sounds as if she's slept with every single man on the planet. Um, so his assault, his charges are aggravated and decent assault um, to the power of three. They also described, his victims described uh, assaults involving Cosby, 
giving sal sedatives to women in the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s. Dozens of new accusers stepped forward after viewing a 2014 stand-up routine video where a Philly crowd watched comedian Hannibal Buress riff off on a Cosby rape accusations. Cosby tried to settle in 2005 and 2006 with Constant for 3.4 million. There's a, pay, a payout isn't going to solve the fucking years of stress and turmoil and anguish that the victim has been through and the other two victims. I mean, she's probably had to endure a lifetime of misfortune after what Bill Cosby had has done to her. Like, I mean, Cosby in 2005 even admitted to buying quaaludes, saying that they were never for him. So this dude had it down to the fucking teeth. This dude knew well what he was doing. This guy knew well what he was subjecting these women to. Cosby, I mean, I'm, well, I was never a Cosby fan, like I said, but he just, he needs to rot in jail. Like the things that he did to those women, oh, just appalling. But anyway, I said that I was gonna cut this into a two part video. But um, that's about as much as I feel like covering without having to physically make myself get sick. Like I honestly feel like I'm gonna vomit after I heard the news yesterday that he uh, he was actually found guilty in the end of committing these sexual assaults. You know, I mean, this rape culture needs to stop. Like the Harvey Weinstein's, the Kevin Spacey's. I mean, seriously, it just needs to stop. It's just so. It's just absolutely disgraceful. And that's all I've got to say about it. That's all my two cents. But anyway, if you like this video, like, share and subscribe and show it to your friends. Peace.